The mother of a Ballard High School student is fuming that the health center on campus helped her daughter get an abortion while mom thought her teenager was in class. The mom says, worse yet, the clinic kept the information confidential. Come aforth, Lisa Jaffe has their story. Alisa? Mary, when the mom, who is pro choice, I want to point out, signed this consent form, she figured it meant her 15 year old could go to the Ballard Teen Health Center located inside the high school for an earache or maybe a sports physical, but not for help terminating a pregnancy. These books belong to a Ballard High Honor Roll student who didn't tell her mom about her morning sickness. She took a pregnancy test at school at the Teen Health Center. The mom, we'll call Jill, gave consent for her daughter to use the services of the Ballard Teen Health Center on campus. Nowhere in this paperwork does it mention abortion or facilitating abortions. She says her daughter, who is pro-life, was given a pass, left school alone in a taxi, had an abortion at another location, and didn't tell her family. We had no idea that this was being facilitated on campus. They just told her that if she concealed it from her family that it would be free of charge and there would be no financial responsibility. The Seattle School District wouldn't comment on camera. They don't run the health clinics at high schools. Swedish Medical Center runs the clinic at Ballard and protects the students' privacy. Signing this paper makes me feel like my rights were completely stripped away. TJ Cosgrove administers the school based programs for the King County Health Department. He says the clinic staff did nothing illegal. He says it's always best if parents are involved in their children's health care, but says they don't always have a say. At any age in the state of Washington, a uh, individual can consent to uh, a termination of a pregnancy. The mom tells me she's speaking out to make sure parents are aware of what they're signing at the the services that are provided at these confidential clinics. She's called everybody from the superintendent's office to the health department to complain about the consent forms, which she thinks are vague. The health department insists it can't list every single ailment or scenario on a form. Elisa Jaffe, Como 4 News.